The 2017 season was the last time Cristiano Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or, his fifth and with it he tied the score with Messi. This feat alone is enough to crown this season as one of Ronaldo's best seasons, but Ronaldo did much more than that, in fact, he won the Ballon d'Or as a result of the spectacular performances he displayed time and time again. Welcome to the JVM Football Channel, where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Today I'll be going over the amazing season that Cristiano Ronaldo had in 2017, an iconic season for the Portuguese international as he was a key piece to the puzzle that helped Real Madrid to win the Champions League for second time in a row and end the La Liga drought. This is arguably the best season for Real Madrid during the 2010s. They dominated at pretty much everything. They had, arguably, the best player that season for every position and on the bench they had the likes of James Rodriguez, Asensio and Kovacic just waiting to join the party. It was a very balanced squad which resulted in the Spanish giants winning the two most important trophies. Ronaldo being Ronaldo was of course an instrumental player to the success Real Madrid saw this season. His goal scoring ability and leadership up front were in full display this season, mainly in the Champions League where Ronaldo scored 12 goals in 13 games, including back-to-back -back hat tricks in the knockout stage of the competition to see Los Blancos through into the final. But first, let's look at how Ronaldo performed in La Liga. Real Madrid of course won the league in a season where Ronaldo played a total of 29 games, scoring 25 and assisting another 6. 31 goal involvement in 29 games. Typical Ronaldo. Looking at these goals and assists helps to paint a picture of how dominant Ronaldo was this season, but there are a few other stats that help even better, I believe, to paint an even clearer picture of the dominance of the Portuguese. Ronaldo averaged 5.6 shots per game, of which 2.1 and it ended being on target and 1.1 key passes per game. This goes to show how relentless Ronaldo was in La Liga and why he was such a key piece to this Real Madrid side winning La Liga. I mean, he averaged 0.9 goals per game. Ronaldo missed a few games at the beginning of the season due to torn collateral ligaments and influenza and towards the end of the campaign, there were games where he wasn't even in the squad. This was a way for Zidane to spare his best plays for the Champions League games during the week. All in all, when looking at how Ronaldo performed in La Liga, only one word comes to mind, dominant. Now we're going to Ronaldo's favourite competition, of which he has been labelled his patron, Mr. Champions League. This is one of the seasons that explain how Ronaldo got his nickname. He always rises to the biggest of occasions when his team need him most, in the best competition in Europe. Ronaldo ended up scoring a total of 12 goals in the 13 Champions League games he played, of which he started all of them. But Ronaldo had quite a bit of a slow start. In fact, he only scored two goals in the six games in he played in the group stage and didn't score any in the round of 16 against Napoli. But as I have already mentioned, Ronaldo always comes through when it matters most. In the last five games of the competition, Ronaldo scored 10 goals. 10 goals. He scored two in the opening game of the quarterfinals against Bayern and then he scored a hat-trick against the German giants and followed it up with another hat-trick this time against Real Madrid City rivals Atletico. Real Madrid would go on to lose 2-1 against Atletico in the second round, but it was too little too late as Real had already done the damage. I have to stop here for a second and just go over Ronaldo's first round game against Atletico because it was something really special. Ronaldo single-handedly finished this round in the first tie. He scored a hat-trick, he had 5 shots out of the 5 free were on target and all of them resulted in goals. Ronaldo also completed 50% of his attempted 6 dribbles and made 2 key passes. Games like this and the one in the previous round against Bayern are why Ronaldo is labelled Mr. Champions League. In the final against Juventus, Ronaldo made his presence known once again as he scored two goals in Real Madrid's comeback and thus putting a happy end to an already impressive season. Ronaldo ended the season with a total of 46 games played of which he scored 42 goals and assisted 12 times, winning the Ballon d'Or deservedly so in the process. As I have mentioned in my video of Messi's incredible 2009 season on this Time Machine series, Ronaldo and Messi will get at least 10 videos each. This is because of seasons like this. The two best players in the world have been going at it again and again, time and time again, putting on performance like this again and again. They'll be getting 10 each. 
This is one of my favorite seasons of Ronaldo. He won the major trophies that he needed to win. He won the Ballon d'Or finally tying the score with Messi. And the performances he put up against Atletico and Bayern in the Champions League are just unforgettable. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.